वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट मटेरियल साइंस दैट इज द क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एंड इम्परफेक्शंस सो डेफिनेटली द फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर देन वील टॉक अबाउट द इम्परफेक्शंस इन द क्रिस्टल सो in this subject material science of course this is quite theoretical subject so so whatever the uh, some short notes i will uh, write to put uh, on to the board definitely so can you can have you can pause the video and you can see the uh, important notes okay so see here so crystal structure is what actually what it gives us so it gives us the atomic arrangements or the positions of the atom in a given solid body okay so crystal structure is nothing but the atomic arrangements of a solid what is the crystal structure we we'll start with the crystal structure so it is what it is the atomic arrangement atomic arrangement in a solid in a solid what is this actually so this is this is regular three dimensional this is regular three dimensional patterns 3d patterns of the atoms in a space okay so this is what the regular th three dimensional pattern of the atoms in a space this is also the crystal structure is going to give us okay with respect to space on the say coordinates x y z axis what are the how the atoms are arranged in this three dimensional pattern we can able to see okay by using this crystal structure now why this regularity is going to come ye sab kyu aise regularly given array mein certain position pe hi hai in the crystal structure so see here because this regularity this regularity in the atomic arrangement atomic arrangement is because of why because of why the geometrical geometrical conditions kyu aisa hai why why they are regularly arranged because of the some geometrical conditions and why these geometrical conditions kisne di which are which are imposed which are imposed by the directional very important directional bonding directional bonding or the close packing of atoms the close packing see this is the reason why they are orderly arranged they are have they are having the regularity in their arrangement atomic arrangement because of see the geometrical conditions which are imposed by some directional bonding and of course they are closely packed that is the main reason this is the crystal structure so atomic arrangement in the solid we are getting the three dimensional patterns of the atoms in the space and why they are regular because the geometrical conditions imposed by the directional bonding or the close packing between the atoms that is why we are getting this crystal structure and see here very importantly and very importantly the crystal structure which is observed in the solid uh, can be defined in terms of the crystal structure so the crystal structures observed in the solid in the solids can be described 
can be described in terms of can be described in terms of the idealized idealized geometric geometric space lattice space lattice see very important or this space lattice is also known as or the space lattice is also known as the point lattice the point lattice or lattice okay so see here so the crystal structure which are observed in the solids can be described can be described in terms of the some idealized geometric conditions actually the idealized geometric uh, condition which is the space lattice which is the space lattice or this is also known as the point lattice so of course we can see here the space lattice how it look like or point lattice so we can see here the three dimensional few of these atoms are arranged so see here, how this space lattice or point lattice is look like so very simple have a cube because we are going to see the three dimensional pattern i am going to draw here a cube so see here students now i am going to show you here the point lattice or the space lattice here so say this is the cube okay i'll take the midpoints of this so i will create one more plane here at the center okay then i will take the center of each plane okay now we'll join this okay and finally this okay so see here we can get this the atoms which are arranged in this space lattice so this is the space or point lattice this is the space or point lattice 3d arrangement of the atoms okay and see here in this space lattice or in this point lattice if we take the smallest volume of the space lattice then that smallest volume of the space lattice is termed as or known as the unit cell suppose in that in this suppose if i take this i take this first small block of this see here i am taking this okay so for this point lattice which is big okay out of that i am taking this small very small volume of this point lattice which is known as which is known as the unit cell which is known as the unit cell 
यूनिट सेल इज वॉट दॉलेस्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्मॉलेस्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द पॉइंट और स्पेस लैटिस स्पेस लैटिस एंड विच कैन बी टर्म एज क्या बोलते इसको दे आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स दे आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स इफ यू अरेन्ज दम वन और अदर If we arrange them one or other, it these are going to form our point lattice. See it. So, but taking this as a smallest volume, if I keep this unit cell one above the other and at the sides, then all together, all together they are going to form. Say this is one unit cell behind that one unit cell. Adjacent to this, this is one unit cell. Okay, so this is one unit cell. So like that. by adding together all these unit cell the space lattice is going to form this is all very simple we take the example of the building so how this uh, the tall building is going to form by if every room in the building is its unit cell that is smallest volume of this entire building so the rooms in this building all together one side side to each other or one above the other like that they are going to form the entire building so the unit cells are also like that by arranging this unit cell one or other adjacent to each other the entire this space lattice is going to form so these are also known as the building blocks okay so this unit cell how this unit cell is going to look like let us see this unit cell i am going to draw here the unit cell again it is a cube so see here this is the one unit cell i am taking here now see for this unit cell we are having the crystallographic axis say this is a b and this is c and the angle between these we can have this is alpha this angle is beta and this angle is gamma okay this is the unit cell this is the unit cell so a b c are the crystallographic axis or we can have these are the lattice parameters and the angle between this crystallographic axis we are having alpha beta and gamma now see based upon the relationship between this a b c and the angle subtended by these three axis we can have the 14 14 different arrangements or the arrays of this unit cell so see here this unit cell is having this crystallographic axis a b and c and the angle between this axis okay is alpha beta and gamma based upon the relationship between this crystallographic axis or the lattice parameters a b c and the angles alpha beta and gamma there are 14 arrangements or 14 arrays which are possible was given by the french mathematician a j brevis and these lattices are known as the brevis lattices that definitely we are going to see what so based on this relationship between this uh, axis and the angles we are going to have 14 arrangements in the unit cell or arrays which was given by brevis a french mathematician and of course these are the arrangements will be given for 
the seven crystal structures that we are going to have dear students now we are going to see these seven kind of crystal structure and the 14 brevis arrays or arrangements in this seven crystals and 14 brevis lattices so let us take the first one that is the cubic structure this is the cubic structure that is the first one so in cubic structure we are having this a is equal to b is equal to c and the angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma are 90 degrees and see here So this is a A, this is B and this is C. These all are equal and this angle alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees. So this is a cubic structure in that we are having what are the lattices, previous lattices, this simple cubic, simple cubic structure is there. Then we are having body centered cubic that is BCC then we are having the face centered cubic that is FCC so this is the cubic structure then we are having second structure is the hexagonal hexagonal structure where A is equal to B but not equal to C alpha is equal to beta is 90 degrees and gamma is 120 degree and here we are having simple hexagonal structure simple hexagonal if you see the diagram this is the hexagonal structure okay so this is Say this is A, this is B and this height, if I have this height, C, where A is equal to B and this angle is 120 degree. Okay, so this is the hexagonal structure, 12 atoms at the corners, 2 on the face and 3 interior. This is the hexagonal structure. A is equal to B, but B is not equal to C. Alpha, beta angles are 90 degree and gamma, which is predetermined angle, which is 120 degree. Then the hexagonal, we will have the third, that is the tetrahedral. Tetrahedral structure. So in tetrahedral structure again same this A is equal to B but not equal to C but here all the angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma are 90 degrees and the lattices we are having here simple tetrahedral and body centered tetrahedral that is B C T body central tetra, tetragonal which is the crystal structure of the martensite so here see it will look like this okay this is A this is B and this is C and all the angles are 90 degrees right so this is the body centered tetragonal this is the BCT body center sorry this is the tetrahedral structure and this is the body centered tetragonal so, body centered and at the corners so this is the body centered tetragonal and which is the structure tetrahedral structure so we have seen the simple cubic hexagonal tetrahedral now we will see 
the rhombohedral this is our fourth rhombohedral rhombohedral structure right so how it will look like like this so here a is equal to b is equal to c but angles alpha beta and gamma are not equal to 90 degrees this is the rhomboidal and what are the lattices here only simple rhomboidal simple rhomboidal structure okay so this is the rhomboidal then we are having fifth is orthorhombic orthorhombic so orthorhombic is like what the matchbox okay so it will be like this see here say this is a this is b and this height is c like this orthorhombic like a matchbox see this is a this is b and this is c so here a is not equal to b b is not equal to c but see the angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma are 90 degrees and in orthorhombic crystal structure we are having what are the lattices the simple orthorhombic simple orthorhombic then we are having the body centered orthorhombic body centered orthorhombic then we are having face centered orthorhombic and also we are having base centered base centered orthorhombic so in this we are having four lattices one two three four brevis lattices here okay so this is the orthorhombic then the sixth crystal structure that we are going to see is monoclinic is monoclinic again see here here a is not equal to b not equal to c here alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree but it is not equal to beta this is a monoclinic structure we can have this a not equal to b a so this is a which is not equal to b which is again not equal to c so like that we are having this structure a b and c and the angles alpha gamma are 90 degree but not equal to beta <clears throat> this is the monoclinic structure in that we are having the simple monoclinic simple monoclinic and base centered monoclinic base centered monoclinic right and last this is the triclinic structure triclinic which is very difficult actually because we need all these six lattice parameters a b c and also alpha beta and gamma all are different okay here a is not equal to b is not equal to c and even alpha 
is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma and they are not 90 degrees. So this is the triclinic crystal structure and in that we are having simple triclinic structure. Okay. So like this we are having the seven like this we are having the seven crystal structures and if you count the 14 Braves lattice 14 Braves lattice in cubic simple cubic I will write in short then body center cubic then face center cubic isn't it in hexagonal we were having the simple hexagonal then the tetragonal we are having simple tetra uh, tetrahedral simple tetragonal actually then body centered tetragonal then in rhombohedral we are having simple rhombohedral isn't it then we see in this orthorhombic there we were having the simple orthorhombic body centered orthorhombic face centered orthorhombic and base centered orthorhombic isn't it then in monoclinic we are having simple known monoclinic and base centered monoclinic and triclinic we are having simple triclinic so total kitne hoge dekho 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so these are the 14 previous arrays arrangements or lattices for the seven crystal structure but see dear students uh, most of the metals are having the cubic structure and for that reason we are going to see in details about the cubic structures these are the simple cubic structure face centered cubic structure and body centered cubic structure and along with that we are going to see the hexagonal close pack structure so for that we are going to find out the atomic uh, packing factor coordination number right relation between the uh, radius of the atom and uh, side of the lattice like that these things we are going to see basically for the cubic crystal structure okay so thank you dear students let us see the examples of the various crystal structures that we have discussed for the cubic so for in the cubic we are having simple cubic face centered cubic body centered cubic and also we are going to see the examples for the hexagonal close pack structure that is hcp so if you talk about the simple cubic structure so there are very few elements or materials which shows that structure the uh, one of the example of uh, that that is the isotopes of the polonium if you talk about the simple cubic structure so what is the example for that the isotope the isotopes of polonium this is the example for the simple cubic now if I take the body centered cubic first body centered cubic here I am having BCC then I will take here the face centered cubic that is FCC and here I'll take the hexagonal close packed structure that is HCP. So in BCC we are having tungsten, chromium, vanadium then sodium we are also having the molybdenum 
and if you see the iron except in the range except in the range of 910 degree centigrade to 1440 degree centigrade that is alpha iron you can say okay so these are some examples of the body center cubic structures and which are very hard very hard isn't it they are very hard if you talk about the face centered cubic structures having good ductility, having good formability, that is FCC. Kon kon hai isme? We are having aluminium, we are having copper, then we are having lead, we are having gold, silver, platinum, and very important the gamma austenite that is iron isn't it in the range of 910 to 1440 degree centigrade that is gamma austenite so these are the examples of the metals which are showing the face centered cubic structure okay so ye bcc ho gaya then fcc we discussed for simple cubic and the HCP before that these are what more ductile materials please remember these are more ductile then you talk about the HCP these are zinc zirconium then we are having magnesium cobalt titanium okay so these are the examples of hcp structure hexagonal pack structure and these are very important lace ductile lace ductile so in this way we can remember the crystal structures and their examples actually so these are their examples this is these are bcc fcc and hcp and very few the isotope of polonium belongs to simple cubic structure thank you